Good afternoon, I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is your afternoon news fix for Tuesday, the 21st of May. The Foreign Minister says the first flight bringing Kiwis home from New Caledonia should arrive in Auckland tonight. It will be the first of several Defence Force flights from Noumea, with commercial flights still cancelled because of civil unrest. 290 Kiwis are registered in the country, and tonight's flight will collect the 50 with the most pressing needs. Peters couldn't say exactly how many trips will be required to get everyone home. They'll see who wants to come, but there are also other countries asking for our help now, and so we're going to do our best to accommodate them too. Prime Minister Chris Luxon says it's good news after days of discussions. The bigger issue has actually been confidence on the ground that there is actually a safe uh, and secure uh, for Kiwis to make the transit. Med Service orange heavy rain warnings continue across Hawke's Bay, Taradua and Wairarapa regions. Tairawhiti is still under a heavy rain watch. Ngongataha residents in Rotorua are allowed back home as the local stream subsides after rising more than five metres. Surface flooding has closed State Highway 2 at Nuhaka. Meteorologist Dan Corrigan says the worst of the wet is over, but people should watch weather warnings for a couple of days. From this evening, we've got a strong wind watch out for Wellington and Portofino the Kapiti Coast, as well as North Taranaki for strong southerly to southeasterly winds in exposed places. A police dog handler who pulled a gore three-year-old's body from a pond says his dog only picked up the scent about 30 metres away. Lachlan Jones died five years ago. Jamie Cunningham reports. Constable Lachlan MacDonald's statement was held in a closed court for health reasons and only released yesterday. He says on the night the child died, the dog's tracking behaviour didn't change when he arrived to the pond gates, which would have indicated a person went over the fence. McDonald says the dog picked up an airborne scent, not on the ground. The first of two coroner's inquest fixtures ended last Wednesday. The second starts in August. Te Pāti Māori say government plans to repeal Section 7AA from the Oranga Tamariki Act disregards Whakapapa. The bill is being introduced in the House this afternoon and would remove the agency's obligation to abide by Te Tiriti o Waitangi. The government argues it focuses too much on carers' ethnicity. MP Maria Meno Kapakingi says it simply doesn't get it. We're about saving our babies, Māori babies. We have the know-how, we have the system, we have the, all of our cultural capability. So our babies are our responsibility. An Auckland man has been fined $600 after apparently attempting to body slam into two orcas. The Department of Conservation was shown a video of a 50-year-old who, after jumping off a boat, told those filming he touched it. Doc says the adult male orca with a calf was in water near Devonport. It says the stupid act endangered the man and the protected marine mammals. Sporting headlines and Bowden Barrett is back training with the Blues, but it's unclear whether he could play a role for the Super Rugby leaders in the closing stages of the season. The Black Ferns have endured a movie-length review into their historic defeat to Canada. Assistant coach Steve Jackson says a two-hour review addressed a lack of discipline, accountability and effort. The Edmonton Oilers have advanced to NHL Ice Hockey's Western Conference Finals against Dallas after a deciding Game 7 win over the Vancouver Canucks. I'm Raylene Ramsey and that is your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.